So one of the um, things that people keep saying anytime that I post pictures of me cooking in cast iron, <clears throat> which is the only thing that I have. I only own cast iron pots and pans. A pretty large collection. Uh, it's all I've used for years. But um, it's not really so much as a question that people ask. It's what they say. They're always amazed that food doesn't stick in my cast iron pans, no matter what I cook. And they make comments like, I can't cook with cast iron because the food always sticks. Or, I can't cook with cast iron because I always burn the food. And I'm going to give you the biggest secrets of cooking with cast iron to not burn food and to not have food stick. It's very simple. Um, it does require you to have some patience. It's not like a Teflon pan that you can just put on there, turn the stove on, and throw the food in there and then cook it. It takes a little bit more time because the biggest reason that you have food that burns or sticks is that you're putting the food into a cold pan. So the first thing you have to do when you're going to cook, I'm going to fry up some eggs. And one other thing I'm going to mention too is I never wash my cast iron pots and pans with soap and water. I don't even wash it with plain water. What I do is I take a, uh, I can't even remember what they're called now. It's a fiber towel that's basically the fibers don't come off of it. It's, I don't think that it's cotton, but it's kind of like cotton material, but it's a, you know, it's a towel that basically I just wipe out food particles that are in there and any excess oil, and that's all I do to it. Now, over time, that builds up a seasoning. You hear people talk about seasoning, and that, that's basically what builds up the seasoning. Seasoning is this stuff you see around the edges that looks like charcoal, but that's basically just food and oil that's been burnt and embedded into the pan and it gives it a really hard slick coating now right there is probably some food particle i didn't get out but i cook eggs in the same pan every morning anyway so this is what you have to do to not burn food or to not have it stick put your pan on your stove turn the stove on about the temperature you think it needs to be at You can see the burner come on. Let's see if I can get this set up. And we're just going to let it sit there until the pan is hot. While that's while that's taking place, I am going to go ahead and put some oil in this. This is just olive oil. A little bit of olive oil. And then I'm going to go get my eggs while the pan's heating up. I'm not getting in a hurry. Got to be patient.
go ahead and tilt the skillet get the oil moved around you basically want it to be like a thin coating on the pan now there's a lot of people that are probably thinking I could turn the temperature up and get the pan hotter faster but that's actually a mistake you're going to make if you do that because these skillets are such heavy iron they heat up too quickly and then it takes them a very long time to cool back down so you don't want to like try to make it go faster by turning the temperature up too high usually you can put your hands like on on it like this to see how hot it is but one of the things that I wait for is I look at the oil and I just kind of wait until you can tell that the oil is actually boiling or starting to bubble up it's pretty easy to tell it'll start to get like some little air bubbles in it Most of you people cooking with Teflon pans would have already been done frying your eggs. believe we are almost there yep I can start to see some air bubbles on top of the oil you may not be able to see it but the oil is definitely hot now so now the next thing you do you just go ahead and cook your eggs the way you normally would with a couple of adjustments. Now I eat five scrambled eggs every morning for breakfast. I add a little bit of pepper, fresh ground pepper, I add some garlic salt or sometimes just plain garlic. This is actually garlic salt that has um, parsley in it. But you notice that I've not busted the yolks yet and I haven't started to scramble them yet. So if you see that the egg here is starting to like flutter up off the pan. I wait until it's doing that all the way around. Then once that's done, I'll take and bust the yolks. So what I'm actually doing, I'm actually using the oil that's under the egg to force the egg up off the bottom of the pan to keep it from sticking. Then I go ahead and bust the yolks. Oil 
or you could go ahead and flip the eggs at this point really uh, if you do yours uh, over easy or something like that give that a couple of minutes and then you can see look the whole entire egg moves as one unit no sticking whatsoever then I just go ahead and scramble them the way that I normally do So the key is to make sure that the pan is hot, that, that the pan and the oil in it's hot before you ever crack your eggs into the pan. As long as you do that, you'll never have food burn or stick in a cast iron pan. these to be too overdone. I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. Get me. I'm just going to stick these in a bowl because I'm also going to have some oatmeal after. <laughs> Let me readjust this so you can see. That uh, Folgers canister over there, by the way, is what I put my eggshells in. I repurpose empty coffee cans all the time. Try to hold this where you can see. Should not be any eggs stuck to this pan. None, zero. I can literally cook anything in cast iron and not have it stick. If you want to try a good one, try to bake you a loaf of bread in a cast iron pan. So then once this pan cools down, I then use my towel to just wipe out the egg and the oil that's left in the pan. And then it's ready again to use the next day. That's really all there is to it. Anyways, hope you all have been enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.